Reverend George Adegboy, his father was a Muslim, who later became a Christian. Reverend George is the founder of Rima Chapel International Churches. For Pastor Welcome to the moment of truth. In this video, you will see the genesis of your pastors, why they are misbehaving. Iginla is a Muslim, born Muslim, by Muslim parents. Oye depo, mixture of it. That's why he's misbehaving. Olukoya, he was a Muslim, his parents are Muslim. See Muslim. TB Joshua. Muslim, you know his name. His name was Fatai. Uh, Suleiman, you know his name as well. Born Muslim till today. NHA, his father is a traditionalist till today. Is the traditional uh, the traditional ruler of their uh, village. Ido Idoma Adeboye. His parents are traditionalists as well. So this man are not born again. That's why they are misbehaving. Stay tuned and hear it from the Ossie's mouth. Tan Bakir, born into a Muslim family of late. Posani Bakir and Abigail Ibudola. Bakir is the founder of the Citadel Global Community Church 3. Apostle Johnson Suleiman, born on March 24, 1971 to Mrs. Esther Sul and Honorable Emudu Sul. He is the senior pastor and general overseer of Omega Fire Ministries International. 2. Pastor Ahmed Ashomolo. He was born Ahmed Ashomolo in Kaduna to Muslim parents. He is the founder and senior pastor of Kingsway International Christian Center 1. Bishop David Oyedepo, being raised in a mixed religious family. His father, Ibrahim, and his mother, Dorcas. He is the founder of the Living Faith Church. He just heard it all. Journalists are really digging into their foundation their background because their concerns and their behavior raises a lot of concerns it's worrisome we are worried look at the state of christianity today look at the churches today it's you my people that place values on them you play you place too much values on them they are not valuable you don't expect better thing from satan that's they are just doing the work of their father, Satan. So don't expect any good thing from all these pastors. All they are for is for dam to damage, to destroy, to kill and to destroy. Bible already told us. That's why you have to know God for yourself. They are not Christian, so it's their background that is playing out. There's no way they will be born into all of these things they were born into. And the, the power that they, 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 they committed their lives onto from day one, we allow them to go. He does not, no, Satan does not let go. You have to determine that no, I have to start go. So even when um, Pharaoh said the Israelites should go, he said they should go, but they should not go far. What did he do in the end? He followed them until he destroyed himself in the Red Sea. So. The, the, Satan don't let go. They are dedicated to Satan from their day one. That's why they are so they they they, 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 they are so evil. They are not there is no mercy in them at all. They will see their their, 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 their followers in, in pain like this. They are still collecting money from them. They will still be demanding for money using all sort of methods to siphon money from people. They, are, they have no mercy, they have no mercy, they lie like no man business. NHL is going here and there now, lying here and there. All of them, Ashimolo has resigned, have you heard? Ashimolo has uh, have resigned though, he said he's not preaching anymore, he's not into real estate, can you imagine? Can you imagine? The same thing with uh, Funke Dollar, Funke Dollar 2, the Jezebel, the mother of all evils. She said she's gone back to school to study law because there's no tight and no free like before. So they are finding their feet now. I saw this. I said, ah, ah, I'm not the only one talking. No. Hundreds of people are out there talking. Everybody talking. Because we cannot fold our arms and allow these men to destroy our faith, to destroy the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have to keep crying to God, keep bombarding the heaven to respond and issue our judgment 
to all these men, 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 men of evil, calling themselves men of God. Look at the state of Nigeria today. They say they have anointing. How can a good Nigeria turn to bad in their hands with all the churches everywhere? Everywhere. When I was born, there was no churches like this. But there was peace and tranquility. Look at it today. They own everything. And they be boasting, I have money. I have money. All of them, I'm rich. I'm rich. I can never be poor. Why will you be poor? When you are stealing from thousands, millions of people, why will you be, be poor? My people, you know, my own is to enlighten you to open your eyes so to remove all these scales. And they, they've raised charlatans. All their followers are charlatans. They've been fighting. They are killing you and you are still protecting them. They are killing you, you are still fighting for them. Does that really make sense? I see you on my next video. Bye for now.